this week with the story of how Jesus showed love to a Samaritan woman from the book of John chapter 4. In this moment in history, the Bible tells us about a place that the Jewish people or the Israelites would not go near. This place was called Samaria. The Jewish people often would not go through Samaria because they hated the Samaritans and tried to avoid them. And the Samaritans also didn't like the Jews either because both groups did not believe the same things about God and would fight over who believed the right things about God. It was so bad that if a Jewish person passed a Samaritan on the road, he would even walk in the ditch so that their shadows wouldn't even touch. And even though going through Samaria was the fastest way to many places, the Jewish people would often take a different road, the longer way. Sometimes they would go all the way over by the Jordan River or all the way by the Mediterranean Sea. One day, Jesus and his disciples needed to make a trip from Judea to Galilee. Do you think Jesus avoided Samaria and walked around just like the other Jews? No, Jesus walked right through Samaria. Jesus loves everyone. He even loves those no one else does. Say it with me. Jesus loves everyone. Jesus and his disciples walked all day and became tired. They came to a town with a well where people got their water. His disciples went into town to buy some food while Jesus sat down to rest. Shortly after, he saw a Samaritan woman carrying a large jar. This was about noon when it was the hottest time of the day. The Samaritan woman ignored Jesus and prepared to fill her jar with water. So, and Jesus went up and asked her, will you give me a drink? The woman was surprised. She answered, you are a Jew and I'm a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? You see, not only was she a Samaritan, but her own people were not friends with her. She was an outcast and she was coming to the well in the middle of the day at high noon when it was the hot, hottest time of the day because so, so that the other, wouldn't, the other woman wouldn't be there. But Jesus was different. He is the perfect son of God. And he cared about this woman even though she was a Samaritan and an outcast in her community. Jesus began talking to her about the living water. Everyone who drinks this regular well water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to an eternal life. He told her he was the one God had sent to save the people from punishment of their sins. But she didn't understand what he was quite saying, and Jesus continued to explain. Jesus did not give up on her. Instead, he told her, go call your husband and come back. The woman answered, I have no husband. Her answer didn't surprise Jesus. He knew all about the woman's life because he is God. That's true, Jesus said. You have had five husbands and the man you're living with now is not your husband. You see, Jesus is omniscient, meaning he is all-knowing. Jesus knew everything about her, her past, her present, and her future, and even bad things, and yet he still loved her. The Samaritan woman was surprised that Jesus knew all this about her. She thought Jesus was a prophet, so she said to him, I know about the Messiah. Messiah is coming. When he comes, he will tell us all about all of these things. But Jesus told her that he is that Messiah, the promised Savior. He came to save the world from punishment of sin. Upon hearing this, the woman ran back to the city and told everyone she met, Come see a man who told me everything I've done. Could he be the Messiah? The people hurried to see Jesus. They were surprised at the woman's words and wanted to see if Jesus truly was the promised Savior that they had been waiting for. Many of the Samaritans came to believe on Jesus that day because of what the woman had said and because, that they, had, because they had heard Jesus for themselves. Jesus loves you and Jesus loves everyone and he is omniscient and knows everything about us. You are, you know, we are not perfect so we sin and Jesus knows every time we sin. So it is important to come to God in prayer and confess our sins, give thanksgiving, adore God for who he is and ask God for help to help us. God is pleased with us when we do these things. Jesus didn't ignore Samaria. Jesus didn't ignore the Samaritan woman. Let's be more like Jesus. If you know a kid who doesn't have many friends, invite them to play with you. Is there a classmate on Google Meet or Zoom whom you don't really know? Send them a friendly chat and say hello. 
and most importantly, be open to um, telling others about Jesus just like the Samaritan woman. When she learned of Jesus, she didn't care if she was an outcast in her community. She went and told everyone and anyone about Jesus. She didn't hesitate. If you find yourself hesitating or feeling a little nervous and shy about telling others about Jesus, then pray and ask the Holy Spirit to give you boldness. We must tell the world that Jesus loves everyone.